Howdy, and welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. I'm Tim. Ohio, gozaimas. I'm Matt. Today, we're bringing you one of the original Ghost Series, one of the OG from the Ghost Series, Acer Palmatum Amber Ghost. Hey, cue the 311. We got the Amber Glow here. Amber is an amazing Japanese maple. Amber Ghost, it, the name is perfect. It actually leaves out in early spring with some amazing shades of amber. It is just perfectly kind of that orangey, apricot color in the early spring it just gives it a really ethereal color to it now this one goes through some oranges to reds in the fall can actually get a little green midsummer. we're actually here in late june to shoot this video for you because we wanted to show you the shape of this amber ghost in my garden now the thing that makes this tree super special is the reticulated variegation that is often termed a ghost-like variegation and what that means is the veins of the leaf are one color while the rest of the tree is another color well the rest of the leaf this gives a really nice eerie like appearance and that's why it gets the name of being a ghost like reticulation now reticulated is a term that was used from latin that was described some of the original plants like reticulatum or reticulatum como and some of these amazing plants that came from japan with latin names the ghost series would fall in those categories but nowadays people often use the term like a ghost type variegation because of this reticulation then, that you see in the leaves. Now our friend Talon Buckholtz introduced Amber Ghost and I would say it's easily one of the most popular ones of the Ghost series. Uh, right up there with Purple Ghost. Purple Ghost and Amber Ghost are typically the most highly sought after. You know, we, we celebrate the entire Ghost collection here so we do all of them, even the rare Martha Ghost that most people don't grow. Really cool one to be having here in the garden. Amber Ghost, though, is typically, if not the most popular, the second most popular of all the Ghost series for us. And there's a good reason why. It just goes through some amazing color pattern changes, but also has a great upright shape. It tends to be very multi-stemmed and a little bit more rounded in its canopy as it approaches that 10 to 12 foot range. Amber Ghost has been fairly heat tolerant for us here in Western North Carolina. As you can see here, it's mostly in sun here in Matt's yard. And he planted up near his porch so he could really enjoy this plant that's a great way to do it. I mean, that's a great way to put this tree up somewhere close next to the walkway up near your porch so you can really enjoy the intricacies of this leaf. But if you give it some protection from the hot afternoon sun, that reticulated variegation will last longer throughout the season and you can really enjoy that reticulation even longer. Now, siding a Japanese maple is important with any Japanese maple. You want good drainage. This tree is going to work zones five through nine. Definitely you need shade in that zone nine setting. So you want to give that more shade if you're in a heavy zone nine especially in a high heat index zone nine. Uh, zones typically five through eight, this one can handle a little bit more sun, but like Tim was mentioning, you'll hold that color longer into the season, especially that early spring color longer into the summer months if you can give it late day shade. So early morning sun, late day shade tends to be ideal on this one. While that ghost-like amber reticulation in the spring is amazing, I love this plant because of that orange fall color. That orange fall color is spectacular. And making a nice tree about that eight to 10 feet in height by about eight to 10 foot in width in 10 years, it's one of the faster growing of the ghost series and is one of the larger growing overall of the ghost types. Uh, an easy pairing for this one is purple ghost. Amber ghost and purple ghost look crazy together. And you can start your own little enchanted forest right there with amber ghost and purple ghost. And now first ghost or grandma ghost are also gonna give an immense amount of contrast to this. Those are gonna be more white cultivars with a lot of white in them. So that early spring coloration is really gonna pop next to amber ghost, first ghost, or grandma ghost. Those are excellent pairings to put near this one. And now a word from our sponsor. Check out mrmaple.com. We ship tons of Japanese maples straight to your door. Like, subscribe, and share. So we actually do the entire ghost series here at our nursery, and they're some of our most popular plants. We need to create us a good Roy G. Biv for remembering the entire ghost series. I think this is our third take, but uh, we can actually name most of the ghost series here for you. There's first ghost, then there's sister ghost, grandma ghost, Baby Ghost, Uncle Ghost, Martha Ghost, uh, then there's Amber Ghost, Purple Ghost, and Dark Ghost. So that's- And I named one there and then he took off. So <laughs> there's that. Yeah, Maybe they, that's what's throwing us off is flipping it back and forth. I, I think so. And the Ghost series are amazing plants. And Amber Ghost is probably one of the best of the Ghost series. So Tim, do you have a favorite of the Ghost series? It would be between Purple Ghost, because it's just Unreal Purple, and Amber Ghost, because it's such a good grower great amber hues. I mean, it, to me, it's one of the best 
plants for people to grow in their landscape and garden mm. with that orange fall color it's pretty special what about you matt i'd have to say martha ghost i uh, i was reading in the maple society quarterly and it said that talon once had a tree called martha ghost that he'd included in the maple so in the maple society uh, listings of ghost series and so we had to track that one down post ghost <laughs> most people didn't have that one yet and uh, we're like well the series isn't complete without this mythological martha ghost we have to go track down uh, so be on the outlook for Martha Ghost. We had that one from time to time to Mr. Maple. That one helps a lot of people complete that ghost series. And it was kind of a hidden one that was gone for a lot of years until we tried to bring it back into the trade. Yeah, awesome, awesome plant. Uh, on the ghost series, there's so many great ones out there. I think you can't go wrong with any of them, but Amber Ghost is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, it's an exceptional tree for the landscape. Uh, we grow a lot of Amber Ghost here and it's one of our most popular ones. Y'all, thanks so much for watching another Mr. Maple video. We greatly appreciate you like, subscribing, and sharing to our YouTube channel. That helps so much when you like, subscribe, and share, and it just goes a long way toward helping us get more content out there to you. We really appreciate everyone who's been watching. I um, mean, it, it's, it's such a blessing to have so many followers who are following us now on the Mr. Maple Show, and we really appreciate y'all watching our, all the shows that we work so hard to put out there for you. Make sure to share this with your gardening friends. It really helps with the word of mouth of getting people to hear what's going on at Mr. Maple and all these cool plants that are involved with gardening. Hey, it, five extra points if you can tell me in the comment section below uh, what movie my t-shirt's from. <laughs> hey, take care. God bless. And have a great day.